Hello guys, I hope everyone is fine. So in this video, you will be doing the concepts of pushdown automata, various examples of pushdown automata. So uh, this example that you are seeing over here, we have WCWR where W belongs to A comma B whole star. It means that W contains all the values of A's and B's combinations, including null. So if I basically we try to create the strings, so if W is null, C, W reverse will also be a uh, will null also because null c null reverses null only so we have c the minimum possible string a c a reverse is a b c b reverse is b a b c uh, b a b reverse is b a right uh, a a c a a reverse is a a only then we have Then we have B A A B so on. So we we will have various strings actually. So how do we go about this particular question? So it's very simple that uh, initially we will take all the values like we have a particular scenario, right? We have a Z not with us. What is C doing? C is doing nothing. If we include A, no issues. Uh, we can include B also because we can also start with B, right? We can start with A, B also. Firstly, we included A and then we included B. Then C is coming. And what is the reverse? Reverse will match B with B and A with A. So that is the trick. Even if we are inserting a b, like say we have inserted initially b and then we are inserting a b a, then there is c coming. C will not do anything. Then a comes. A will match a out. B will match b out. So this is how this question can be done. So initially in the initial state, you can write a z not a z not means uh, we are inserting a. Similarly, we can start with B also, B, Z not, B, Z not. Uh, if there is A, we can insert A. If there is B, we can insert B. Uh, we can also have uh, one A initially uh, is going to get encountered. B was the top. Answer could be A, B. B uh, can be inserted. Top was A. The answer can be B, A. Right? Uh, so it means initial part. This part, this part, this part, and this part we will use for push operation. This is push. Whereas this part is for where B will match B and A will match A, and again. A will match A and A will match A. A will match this A will match this A and this B will match this B. So if I have to create the automata of this, it would be Q naught. We have already written this particular part. Then when C is inserted, if there is no top, if, if there is no top means Z naught is top and it doesn't do anything. So top become same. If C comes and checks the top of the stack is A, nothing happens because with the C, nothing will happen. This is do nothing operation. Even C comes and checks top of the stack is B. It can't do anything. But the moment every C is encountered, after C, the pop operation will come and pop operation says that when a comes, checks the top of the stack is A, it will pop it out. B comes, checks top of the stack is B, it will pop it out. And nothing will left be left and we will come over here. This is the scenario for WCWR. Again, guys, you have to see the matching part. The matching part sees B with B, A with A, AB, B 
where b will match b and a will match a so this is a question of uh, wc wr now let me just do this particular question you have see, seen a n b m c n you have to just check which is depending obviously a we will have a power n c power n so c is actually dependent upon a so if i have two a's i will have two c's uh, there are b's uh, n and m are not related so you can have any number of b's but the relation is with a and c so it means the verification of number of a's will be done by number of c's so if you have one a then you have one c it can be the string can be a b c the string can be double a b double c the string even can be triple a double b and triple c so there is no relation as such it means so c will pop a out a will be used for push operation since b is having no relationship this will be used for do nothing and c will be used for pop operation so if i have to create the automata of it it would be created in this way we'll have a z not a z not a is inserted into the stack q1 then a comes top of the stack is a it will insert into the stack so it means number of a's are inserted guys see b value is also power m which is greater than 0 so 1b must be encountered so it means like this guys when a comes all a are coming 1b or let's say there are three b's but they are not going to do anything 1b comes checks the top of the stack is a so b comes top of the stack is a it won't do anything so it means if it is not going to do anything so answer is element top top right q2 all number of b's comes checks the top of the stack is a doesn't do anything but when c comes so these are used for do nothing operation when c comes c checks top of the stack is a it will pop it out it means c comes checks the top of the stack is a it will pop it out q3 now there are many c's they are going to process so we are not going to create two uh, states for two c's so obviously all c's will come they will check the top of the stack is a and it will pop it out so it will cancel this out it will cancel this out so we will, are not left with anything so that is null z not z not and q this is how this question can be done fine so uh, this is a transition diagram for this uh, we go with the next particular question you just see over here a power 2n b power n c power m it means if i have two a's i have one b uh, i have any number of c's i can take one c i have let's say four a's then i will have only two b's and i can have any number of c's this is a particular string that we have so it means for two a's i have one b for four a's i have two b's right it means uh one a if you can insert push and second a you just process process means do nothing and one b you can use to pop one a out and c do nothing operation because it is not related with a's and b so how and guys one thing a is uh, uh, it, a is actually calculated as a multiple of two so we have to create a loop of two as well so it's up to you first a you can push first a you can also process also don't do anything with that second a you can push two it's up to you so i am doing fun thing initially i assume that a z not z not i am not inserting the a into the stack q1 like in this uh, stack i am using like this z not first a second a third a fourth a and two b's and any number of c's one a do nothing second a i am pushing into the stack 
third a do nothing and fourth a i am pushing into the stack i have this one b comes and pops a out another b comes pops a out so that's the way i am going to go about that so second a comes check stop of the stack is z not and it will gets inserted q1 third a comes check stop of the stack is a doesn't do anything or fourth a comes check stop of the stack is a it pushes into the stack this can be done or another way is that i am inserting the a into the stack just check i can push a into the stack i will get a z not means like this z not we have four a's and two b's and let's say three c's one a comes pushes into the stack second a comes do nothing third a pushes and fourth a do nothing so it means third a is inserted one b comes check stop of the stack is a null second b comes stop of the stack is a null so we have got q not q1 second a comes check stop of the stack is now a it doesn't do anything third a comes check stop of the stack is a and it gets inserted and fourth a does not do anything this is uh, the loop of four so this can be a loop of two as well one two let's say this is third and this becomes fourth so similarly five six this is a loop of multiple of two then one b comes check stop of the stack is a only it pops it out and any number of b's will come check stop of the stack is a it pops it out and then we are left with c so we have to process c c check stop of the stack is now z not it doesn't do anything and again there is a loop of c as well c check stop of the stack is z not it doesn't do anything so we have got null z not z not and this is my fine so guys over here a's number of a's are again let me tell you number of a's are there these are multiple of twos and number of b's they are just getting processed they are, they are just getting the a's out it means they are getting pop operation but c's they don't do anything because you know b has already popped those out so we are left with c c will just get processed fine uh, we have the next particular part a par n b par m c par j n n greater than 0 j is equal to n plus m it means if i am writing 1 a 1 b your c would be two times if i am taking two a's three b's my c will be uh, the addition of a's and b's number 2 a's plus 3 b's means five times c would be there so many things now how you are going to solve this it means these c's will basically take these a and b's out it means a task is push now b task is also push and c will pop both a and b out so it means let's push them and n m is greater than 0 so we are going to push them accordingly so we have q not and we are pushing a into the stack a initial part is z not so answer would be a z not and number of a's get inserted into the stack a a double b comes checks the top of the stack is a and b gets inserted into the stack it means like this z not we have got two a's we have got let's say three b's right so it means b comes checks the top of the stack is a the answer is element top because we are pushing b into the stack as well and b comes checks the top of the stack is then b because just see this this particular scenario let me tell you that initially you have popped a uh, pushed in a into the stack now b comes b comes check the top of the stack is a 
it will give me B A because B gets inserted into the stack. Another B comes, so this is inserted. Another B comes. Now, what is the top of the stack? B. So it means all Bs will come. It will check top of the stack is B. It will get double B, right? Then we have got C comes. All Bs are inserted. Let's say, or I would create a scenario like this. Two A's. Let's say three B's. So C comes, checks the top of the stack is B, takes it out. It means, and guys, number of C's will come. Let's say there are four C's comes. All C's will pop what B out. All C's will pop A out as well. It means C will pop A out. C will pop B out. And we are left with null Z not Z not Q four. So this is how this question can be solved by pushing A into the stack, by pushing B into the stack, and popping A's and B's from B's or from C's actually.